Red 9mm USA here, and we've got the Dan Wesson 357 Magnum model 715 with some HKS speed loaders model 10. Got several of those. We're going to shoot some MagTech ammo through it. Trying different ammo through it, just making sure it uh, seems to function with any type of ammo. MagTech is made in Brazil. Anyway, pick some up at uh, Cabela's, so we're going to give it a shot. We're going to shoot the Dan Wesson next. And what grain is that? This is 158 grain, 38 special. All right, the Dan Wesson 357 Magnum. Not bad. Seems to be shooting a little bit high. All right, one round went right over the top of the headshot, but not bad. Trigger seems to be functioning perfectly, and that's why we're out here shooting it some more with some 38 Special. So I started with the smaller target, pushing it a little bit to the left there, but not too bad. Pistol's a lot bigger than the target. <laughs> anyway, moved over here to the more of a man-sized target. We're shooting some headshots with it. Seemed to be doing okay. I did sail one right over the top. All right, so, so far so good with the Dan Wesson 715. Just checking for that reliability of the trigger. Wow. Six out of six, upper chest. Nice shooting. All right, reload that thing. HKS model 10. Nice group, man. Yeah. Those speed loaders work real well. Looks like several rounds hit right on top of each other. Yeah. Which I guess is a good thing, right? Starting to like it, man. Just want it to run good, that's all. Let's try the Evil Roy. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, from the Dan Wesson 357 Magnum. Got one, two, and then I think this is three. One, two, three, four, five, and six 
hit up there somehow. Not sure. Here was young Beretta's target from the last time. And then I tried to put some rounds on this evil Roy target. All right, this time I'm going to shoot offhand at the Evil Roy. Not bad. Wow. Not considering that was offhand. Yeah, I've actually never fired a full-size revolver offhand. Wow. Look at all that carbon buildup on the face of the cylinder <laughs> and at the back plate. You can see where all the rounds are hitting the back plate after the gun goes off. I will be going for some accuracy here. I'm actually gonna try out single action. Going for headshots. Okay guys, Beretta 9mm USA here, and we've got the 357 Magnum Remington Golden Sabres 125 grain, so full house 357, and we're going to shoot it through the Dan Wesson 357. What'd you think? It still doesn't kick, really. The size of the revolver is absorbing the recoil. So if you go for these larger 357 Magnum revolvers, it seems to absorb all the recoil. I mean, I'm barely feeling it, guys. It feels like I'm shooting 38 plus P. It seems to handle it absolutely no problem. The thing is built like a tank. There's no question about that. And so far, no issues with shooting it since it's been back from Dan Wesson. Go for a reload with the speed loader here. Getting a little bit better at that. Close it by the crane. Check it. It's locked up. No issues, no problems today. It's shooting like a champ. Shoots like this, I wanna keep it. You guys know, or at least most of you know, if you have problems with a handgun, you can't get it sorted out, I say don't keep it. But this thing seems to be running just fine. Not to mention it's just a beautiful handgun. This is new for me because I haven't fired a revolver in probably close to 30 years. All the way out, all the way out. I think that's all of them. Yep. Nice shooting. All right, you guys, 357 Magnum time. We've got one Remington Golden Sabre and five Hornady 140 grain 357 Magnums. FTX rounds. Here we go. Nice group, man. Yeah. So what do you think of the recoil control out of that revolver? 
it's very easy to handle that recoil. It quite honestly feels like a 45. That's what it feels like yeah. in this. You know, all the forged steel, the no mem parts is a big deal with this. And because of that full underlug or full shroud, it just has no recoil whatsoever. I'm so glad it's running perfect again. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys, on the Dan Wesson 357 Magnum.